Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Last Epoch. That's an Acolyte Warlock build. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our final few videos of Last Epoch. Uh, we've beat the story, last recording session. Don't know what video that's going to end up being. Um, I'll be honest, story-wise... Except for the ending, you know, it, it compares to all the others that the ending, though, and I understand why they did it. They use it to set up Endgame. I'm of two minds. I personally would like to see, like, ooh, this story ends. Here's hints of another. However, I can see an argument for, like, oh, that's actually really well done. Because you go, all right, story ends, straight into Endgame. None of that. Like Diablo and like the Diablo games are the exile. Even Grim Dawn was like, "Yeah, I beat the game, and I know the story, so my character just runs around killing shit." It's like, no, the end game is part of the story. Whether you think that adds to the story or detracts from the story, honestly, it's gonna be up to personal preference. I am of two minds. Um, uh, what else? Uh, we learned that Endgame, this is our last recording session, is, uh, Arena, Monoliths, and I'm sure they will add more Monoliths, as there is plenty of space to add more Monoliths, as the game matures. Uh, oh, and Dungeons, um. I, not the ancient, I wish they did more the ancient era. Like, I bet you that's going to be a DLC or, or, or more story content. I mean, we're at the Vine era. Lupari Cliffs? No. Theobora. I want to check out, we have an arena key. I want to see what the arena does. Oh, also, hold on. Um. Oh. Inventory. Oh, blessings. All right, so we have strength of mind. Oh. Okay, so we've discovered three blessings. And we can have it looks like... Oh, well, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. So, how do I change? I grabbed the experience. 10 to 50% flop rate, 25 40% increased gold drop rate. Oh! Okay, each, so, every, okay, oh, okay, I get it. So, from the Fall of Outcast, these are the three of the potential, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blessings we have discovered. Reign of Dragons, Spirits of Fire, um... How do you swap blessings? Last epoch. Covered. I have values the version of my normal timeline. Okay. There's a lot of blessings. All right. I assume there's a way eventually to swap them. And apparently the more corrupt the timeline you conquer, the more powerful the blessings are. But we have strength of mind, so I don't know if that means oh yeah, four to six percent increased experience. But we got the weakest one, which is four percent. Okay. How do you swap blessings? Is there a way to do that? Uh, 
Um, change it up. All you have to do is replace the one you have with another one. When your screen select the button you want to replace. If I click this and then this. Maybe there's somewhere. Because according to this, all I have. Oh, maybe I have to click this and then either this or this, but it's not swapping. We see at ten bluffs. According to this, there should be a way to swap them. Like, just click this. Maybe I have to go to a specific spot? Unknown. Um, in the meantime, we do have an arena key. So let's grab an arena key. There it is. Um, this one, we're shredding. That's, sorry, I shattered. Not that. These two were selling. Buying, selling. Um, I won't buy anything because we haven't been Safe on an travels. official run yet. I will say, um, I would like to apologize. If there is dead air, whatever you consider dead air to be... Um, uh, it's because, that's weird, uh, I, it, this game really encourages a flow state, and when I get into a flow state, I tend to tune things out, enter arena, so I have to beat tier one to unlock more, powerful monsters are responding leaderboards, okay, Fight from 40 waves and a fight. All right, sure, we'll try it. We'll fight through 40 waves of monsters, culminating in a fight against an arena champion. Um, I actually want to swap this out. We're going to try Soul Feast. Now, I'm not... I am unending! <laughs> Oh shit, so you just mash. Hmm, I'm. Mm. Right, hold on. Oh, uh, okay, they spawn from different. Alright, so we literally just have to stand here. And they will come to me. Oh, five waves completed. I assume I can't leave the arena, though. Alright, let's swap. This is literally just the button you hit. Okay, continue. Attempt harder waves. Okay. Alright, so it does damage. Yeah. yeah. This is, but they have to be cursed for it to do anything. So it's a weird thing. Like you could make it your E. Will not take me. If you wanted it to, but I don't think you could combine it. Like. All 
I, I have to look at the skills. Alright, I mean, so yeah, so you just sit here. Okay. It is a good source of gold. I will say that. Oh! And if there's stuff I am interested in, like this, right, I can stash it in my chest until I finish the arena, and then pop out of the arena and spread or sell Interesting. So, I th think I can afford another one. Confirm. And we'll say, we're going to call this one now for arena stuff. Confirm. And I will just toss... What is this? Ah! Huh. And then after the arena's done... Oh! And now we get to choose... After wave 10, they do more damage and have increased health, but we get glyphs, or the arena champion will drop exalted jewelry? I'm going to select that one. Um, assuming the game had an... Okay. Broke it. Okay, slay, slay waves of enemies. Alright, but it's used up. Alright, I'll just wait in the middle. All oh, right, shit. Our your death has I come. I swap things around. I forgot. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's get Bone Daddy back. We'll swap that to there. Oh, wrong buttons. I will hold the X. Any, uh, basically anything that isn't white, I guess. Might as well pick it all up. speed. Attempt harder waves. Your death has... Bone daddy back. Yeah, again, I need more... Um... Ward per second. 
Ah, really good source of gold. Uh-oh, okay, so weapons or rare pieces of jewelry. We already got exalted jewelry, so let's do exalted weapons. So they're going to do more damage, have more health. Okay. I assume that's an effect from something? Don't stand in the middle. Got it. Oh. Really good stuff, I guess. And the treasure chest is over here. Unique shield. Done. Plus two to fireball. Done. To rune bolt. Rune bolt. But only four spell damage? Different element of the last one is granted you a stack of numeromancy. Our stack of numero man. Alright, so we're gonna have five stacks that's potentially plus 30 spell. Oh, and it has. Okay, so that is. I don't know who uses Rune Bolt, but it's not me. I can tell you that. And Tartar Waves. Are we getting experience for these guys? It is a little harder to go oh, up oh, and up dead. Okay. So didn't get a chance to do the champion. But they get to keep all the stuff. Okay. That was fun. I like that. That's that's Fine. another way Selling. to earn stuff. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Oh, necrotic resistant. Ah, sell. Ah, we're low on cash. Anything that's blue, we sell. Uh, attunement we shred for uh, shred of armor on hit. Neat. All right, so that's arena. We know how dungeons work. Um, and we know how monoliths work. So we've now seen all of the end game. So, yeah, I can see build the right character and you can just run Arena over and over and over again. Uh, maybe that's something you should try at level 100? That seems to scale really quickly. 
So maybe I do need a better build. Um, I do have a dungeon. You go to the ruined era. Lightless Arbor. We tried this before. I would like to try again. Over here. So that is, we have two of these, so we'll go ahead and use one of them. Let's see if we can beat it this time. I can try tier two. We still haven't beaten tier one, but we're gonna do tier one. I don't care about the gear. I care about the gold and that's about it. It's all about just getting to the boss. Let's see if we can beat the boss. Something might drop we can use, but I'm not gonna... Go like massive amounts of farming in here. Can't go that yeah. Oh, that's a dead end. Item. I doubt it's going to be worth much, but hey, at least for eyeball. <laughs> Alright, there's our way deeper to get more health. Gotta kill it. Then burn it. But then we can make our way. Gotta remember. Uh, also, before I forget, I think we're gonna reskill this. We're gonna remove that point. And I think we're gonna make it Blood Gulch. Um, this stays, that stays, because this will change that to Bleed Chant. Um, that's maxed out. I don't think this is worth it. This is only the Bleed and, and only the Bleed Poison or Ignite inflicted specific. If this increased all, maybe. But it's only what's inflicted by this. Um, a couple of points in here might not be the worst. Uh, so I've got what three points left? A point in here, a point in here, and then a point in here. Chance per second. I would... You know what? I think one 
might be enough. Just to get to Blood Gulch. Um, that does lower it to 15, and that's okay. But Spirit Frequency might be a better way to go. Or upping the mana cost and grabbing this is something to consider. I don't think it needs per second doubled. The burden. Yeah. Night deals fine with 10 cents. Alright, so it's if they're standing on it, the fissure gains ignite chin. It's not the Spirit. So we're mostly using it for the spirit. So I think that might be a better way to go. Like sometimes, always want a rune or shatter. I think I saw something. Yeah, there's something big. Oh, no, I mean, it's not a. Um, but more often than not, we're using this for spirit. So having spirits fire more often is probably better for me than actually ignite chin. We got a buddy. Huh. Another ember to kill. I think there's another one. Yeah. Oh wow, lots of red. All right. That's a dead end. Oh, this way. All right. Discovery. Oh, a, uh, an experimental dude who's going to go down so fast because he's going to be level down to level 20. Your death has come. Let's see how long he lasts. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're headed down. Ooh, grab the gold. This way? Polymath is uh, all. Attribute all. Orange body armor? Wait. Oh. 
Okay, so that's for a sorcerer. Alright, here. Go away. Um, we're still headed in this direction. Ew. Oh yeah, we're not getting any experience for this run, by the way. Ruins. Wait, hold on. So what's this way? Oh, it's split, and we can choose. Do we want more ruins or rare jewelry? Oh, uh, let's go rare jewelry. Interesting. I don't remember it splitting before. Yeah, we tried this at like level 25 and I got my ass whooped. By the boss, not by the rest of it. Human, we are nearly there. There is something I must tell you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because you have to light this on fire. Right. But you also have to avoid the stomps. Kindling's up and running, so that one's on fire. Oh, oh well, bullets. All right. All right, see, so yeah, these guys I'm not worried about. The Titan Spawn, I'm okay with. Okay, there we go. Gotta stand here. This. Okay. I got enough... Uh, war to survive. Okay, so now what happens? Oh! And then we have to kill the heart. And now we have a shortcut? Question mark? Okay. We've done it. Though, I admit I was not expecting you to take my burning the entire forest to ash example quite so literally. That aside, I think I know what the mountain beneath was heading towards after all. There is something in the temple here, radiating power. Maybe they were hoping to chomp it up in their big rocky moor? Less about the moor, more about the power in the temple. Oh yes. Let me just reach into the roots near it and... Yes. It, it seems to want... wants. Want wants? Yes. You give it something you want, and it might give you something you want more. Okay. Humans want shiny gold things, right? If you give it some of those, that might work. What are you going to do now? Wither and die, probably. There are no roots connecting this place with where the uh -huh. humans are hiding. And even if I could travel there, it won't be long before this world finishes dying. You are not going to die with it, though. I can tell. Is there anything I can do? You shouldn't worry about it. I'm just a spriggan after all. But... If you are really worried about it, here, take a clipping of me 
and plant it somewhere else. Maybe I'll take root. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. You're the one who saved all those humans, after all. At the cost of burning up what is probably the last forest in this ruined world. But that is okay. Farewell. Uh, Alright, so what do we... Add a chest that drops a rare helmet, gloves, and a rare. The linear will offer you a series of choices to affect the rewards within the vault. The cost of accepting an offer depends on the modifiers already chosen. The cost of the modifier you were offered instead, choose carefully. Sure, accept. Accept. Decline. Accept. Oh, wait. Enter vault? I was gonna... What is going on? Oh, no, I could... Okay. Weird. So every time you beat a dungeon, it calculates how much delirium you've earned? I'm guessing? And then you can spend that delirium to earn stuff. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm not threatened by you guys in any way, shape, or form. Let's head back to the end of time. Okay, that's interesting. We do have other dungeons we could run. I just wanted to show that one off because we tried that one before. Uh, the other dungeons we could try... Oh, we did the arena. The Soul Fire Bastion. But, more important, oh, huh. general, that's orange, everything else is yellow or blue, blue gets sold. Hmm. Thank you. Oh! It was using the gold I had! Had. Oh, right, I'm just gonna sell everything then. Gotcha. All right. So the delirium was the gold I had, and the more gold I gave it, the better. You no, know, we could sit there and we're like, all right, we want this and this and this and this, and it was chewing up gold. Gotcha. Okay. Um, we've done this one before. Like I said, what I have been told is supposedly you have like you choose either this one or this one. Um, and if but if you're gonna choose, go down this side. So the black sun, ending the storm, reign of dragons. And then backtrack, and then do these three. But we're gonna do this one first. And see how we do. So, the Black Sun. How does it stabilize the timeline? Yep. Alright. Alright, so do we want... Tomes of Experience... Which, you know what? We need gold and experience. So we're just going to go this way. And we'll do both.
Hold on. Fire bad. That was it. Ah, come on. We can kill more than that. There we go. I will go to about half the bonus stability. And then we'll call it done. When we get to 11, I have to consider it done. Oh, there we go. Uh, level 64. Uh, let's get this up to four first. Like I said, you, you get into a flow state, man, and you're just like, all right, I'm killing shit. All right, ten. One more. Not quite. Ah, there's eleven. We'll finish off this pack, and we'll call it done. So normally when we do a full, we get three. All right, we still got three. All right, nothing interesting there. Spell. That's a lot of spell damage. Oh, five is level 66. Minion damage. Let's see. Uh, more armor, more mana, and a regen. But I don't like to summon volatile zombie. I, I want to try something. So if I go here. All implicit. I don't know what that is. Discovery. Here we go. Removes a random. Oh, so I can't choose with a chaos. Craft and press the roll of an effort from the terrain changing when it's up. What? Conceal an affix. The ceiling affix is moved to its own slot, leaving its old slot open for you to add a new affix. Oh, so this allows you to essentially add a fifth apex. Apex. So if I seal this, it essentially keeps this at, we'll say, tier three, right? And now that's permanently there. And then it opens up a, a, a prefix slot. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Um, I only have one rune of ascendance. We're going to save that. 
Okay. Yes. What can we add to this? Uh, let's see. I mean, intelligence is never bad, and I have 60. One, two, three, four. So then if I change this out for... Oh, no. Clear. Fine. Removal. Oh, hold on. Chaos. This. Oh, we're out of forging potential. All right, didn't see that. Boop. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.